I'm being held hostage in a basement. Uh, so anyways, the other day I was scrolling through YouTube aimlessly as I would and then I stumbled upon a Mike Boyd video. Amazing channel by the way, definitely go check it out. He was doing a very interesting math trick where someone would give him a date and he could figure out the day of the week. I didn't like that video. One, because I hate you, Mike Boyd. You have way too many skills and I'm extremely jealous because I'm a lazy magician. I can't even do a double lift. And number two, I kind of saw this video back when I was a little boy on a TV show called Stanley Superhuman, which at the time, I believe, but uh, after binge watching my critical videos, I now realize that uh, some of it was not that real. Okay, but the guy's slicing a BB gun bullet with a katana. That, that's cool. Come on, I, I, come on, admit it. Okay, you gotta admit that BB gun shot was cool. Oh yeah, say hello to Discount Indian Tom Scott. Uh, anyways, yeah, I first saw it on Stanley Superhumans and the way that they framed it made me think that it was the dude having a sixth sense of a sort where he could just know what date it was. So I kind of thought it was impossible for someone like me to do it. So I just left it for a while. Either that, they did say he, it was a mental arithmetic trick and I was just deaf. Uh, besides the point, fast forward a few years, I see someone in AGT, um, Asia's Got Talent, not America's Got Talent, because we all know, just like America, Asia, the massive country. Some guy named Yashwin Sarawan and did it there. So it gave me a sliver of hope. Hey, someone else can do it. It's not just that guy with some superpower. Until I realized he's a mental arithmetic monster who can churn out math at the rate my mom churns out chicken curry each year. Nine two four one nine nine eight two zero seven two. So again, I just lost hope in it. Finally, fast forward to today where I watched the Mike Boyd video, which linked to a number five video explaining how the algorithm works. Which I'm not going to explain here. Why would I explain it here? It's like extremely long and complicated and uh, so yeah, I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to explain it to the best of my abilities, of course, because my mental arithmetic is just as good as Amy Schumer's jokes. So to start off, there are a bunch of dates called doomsdays. Those dates are 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, 10, 10, 12, 12. I forgot the 6, 6. Anyways, all of these dates happen to fall on a Tuesday, but not on each year, only on the year 2000. On the year 1900, those dates are all Wednesdays, and there is a repeating pattern for all the centuries. So let's say we take a random date such as the 25th of May 2005. Why? No reason in particular. So we know that the year 2000 and the doomsdays are Tuesdays, so for the year 2005 we add 5, but also remember to carry the leap years and add that. Oh, also, the month of May is not the basic doomsday, so there are more doomsdays for that, like 9-5 and 5-9, 7-11 and 11-7, and you know what, just go watch the video. So I decided to give myself two weeks to try and master this. So yeah, we'll just see how my progress goes, even though I have an exam tomorrow and I should actually be studying. But no, I'm doing this. Wow, I'm so smart. I'm so I'm so smart. I'm definitely going to pass my exam. Definitely not going to fail because it's a computer science exam. <laughs> Coding. <laughs> so this is day one. Um, I'm going to test out a date. Right, so we're going to take a random date. Let's see. 25th of May, 2005. So now I just have to use my horrible mental arithmetic and try and do the algorithm. Here it goes! Once you master it, you're supposed to be able to do this in like a few seconds, but g give me a break. This is my first time. Five, seven. Wednesday should be Wednesday. 25th of May 2005 should be Wednesday. Let's go see if I'm right. Yeah, you have the classic uh, old calendar. Oh wait, I'm looking for 2005. So I forgot to record the audio for this part. But basically, I just went on my calendar and then scrolled all the way up to 2005, even though there's a search button there, in which I didn't see. And then when I reached the May 2005, I looked at 5th of May instead of 25th. And it took me a whole minute, basically, to realize I was on the wrong date. From that, I think it's safe to conclude that doing that little bit of mental arithmetic has given me brain damage. So I'm gonna leave that as that for today and try again tomorrow. See you tomorrow for day two. Hello there. Good morning. It is day two and it is four o'clock and I just woke up. So what thing, what, 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 what better thing, what, what better to do than destroy my brain by doing the mental math calculator trick. So, for today, we're okay, going to choose a random date. I want to stick around the 2000, so let's do... We're going to choose 27th of August 2005, because I don't know. So, August is... What's August?
Yeah, you can read March, April, May, June, July, August. Oh, eight. Okay. I think my eyesight is deteriorating. Oh, anyways, we were doing what? Oh, yeah, yeah. 27th August, 2005. <sighs> Focus. Uh, I think 27th of August 2005 is on a Saturday. Let's check it out. Go into calendar and then look for 27th of August 2005. Uh, 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 I said Saturday. Whoa! Uh, I'm I'm actually very happy but way too tired to like convey it because I need to go get ready for school. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Bye bye. Hi, it's been more than two weeks, and there's two things that I've realized. One, I suck at mental arithmetic. Two, I am extremely lazy and I love to procrastinate. So I'm gonna end the video here. And uh, probably give me a few months to improve my mental arithmetic. Because seriously, it's very bad. I'm the type of guy who goes into an exam and types in 3 plus 3 on a calculator. That's 6. That's 6, yeah. So yeah, obviously to do this algorithm, they were thinking of someone smarter than me. So yeah, give me a few months. So I'll get my mental arithmetic back. And then we'll check back in and see my progress. Either that or I'll just be so lazy I forget about this and never do it again. Yeah. We'll see. Bye.